Hello and welcome to this video on one of the common ways of sterilizing, protecting and preserving your home brew and removing chlorine from water, the Campton tablets. The Campton tablets are popular because they are easy to use, portable, cost effective and for most people very accessible. The basic process is to add the tablet, whether that is whole, dissolved or crushed, into your water. You can also add it to your home brew. Different times have different effects. By doing this, you remove unwanted contaminants, possible organisms that you don't want growing in there, protect your fermentation, or the results of the fermentation. While we do call these Campton tablets, that is a particular name for the product. For the most part, you only need to worry about the active ingredient, and that is either going to be potassium or sodium metabisulfite. Chemically, it is written out as K2S2O5, or at least as far as potassium pyrosulfite or metabisulfite is concerned. This is then added to your wine and it produces sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide is what provides that protective effect. It also disinfects and it removes anything that isn't an oxygen that could result in off flavours. By doing this, you also keep the colour and flavours as ideally stabilised as is realistically possible. The advantages of it are that you don't require a great deal. Roughly 3 grams per approximately 24 litres is more than enough. That results in 75 parts per million. Some countries may require that you have twice that concentration. Industrially, it's used as a spray-on sanitizer, and it's normally about a 1% concentration of the sulfur dioxide. The other option is your sodium pyrosulfite, or sodium metabisulfite, which is Na2S2O5. When you add this to your water generally, although it could also be your brew solution or your wash, you create bisulfite. The bisulfite is what has the effect of sanitizing, in much the same way that the potassium metabisulfite does. Chemically it functions this way, but more often than not it's its application that most people care about, and as a rule, it's approximately one tablet per four litres of must in the case of wine, or wort for beer. This does produce just slightly under the desired 75 parts per million, and it's about 67, 68 parts per million, but once you look at it over time, that figure is going to come down anyway, as the Sulfur dioxide will react with chlorine and chloramine, and from here you'll get some aldehydes. This fundamentally removes it from the wash. The secondary effect is that not only as the fermentation goes on, but as gas is removed from your fermenter, the sulfur dioxide which is generated is removed as well, as it will gas off. The other advantage that it can be used for is especially for wine and beer, removing chlorine. The dechlorination of tap water is fairly common in order to try and minimize the possibility of off flavors being generated. Approximately one tablet per 75 liters of water is more than enough. If you add your Canton tablet to your fermentation after you've finished everything else, you can consider it a safe way to preserve it and it will stay safe for a very long time. This is more often than not a concern with wine rather than beer and others, and it avoids creating unwanted vinegar. Those are the brief ways to use Campton tablets, and in brewing they basically cover everything. This is your treating of must and wort for wine and beer, counteracting oxidation, purging chlorine, and sanitizing. For each of these will describe what you'll do and how you'll do it. So if there's a particular application you're interested in, there will be timestamps in the description box below. Treating of must and wort, it's one tablet per approximately four liters. You then either crush this, or if you want, you can dissolve it in a quantity of water and add this. 
you then add the entirety of it to your beer or must. When this happens, make sure to stir it in, or at least a little bit. Again, it's not an ideal thing to do. Mixing it in will add oxygen to the water, which is going to mitigate some of the things you're trying to do by adding the Camden tablets. Next is prevention of oxidation. Again, it's one tablet per approximately 4 litres of your must or wort. You then either mix it with a small amount of water or grind it up into a powder. You add this to a small quantity of your beverage as you're brewing it, whether that is a small amount of wine or beer. This small quantity is combined with the Canton tablet and added back into it. You may wish to add a small amount of Canton tablet mixed with water to the airlock, and this would prevent issues with air coming back into it. With the combination of airlock that's been sealed with this and the small amount added to your wine or beer, you can now feel reasonably safe that oxidation should have been reduced significantly. When you rack your beer and take it to a secondary fermenter or your wine into a secondary fermenter, you will need to add more. Normally you're looking at adding the same ratio of one tablet per every four litres. This allows you to minimize any of the issues of having added oxygen during the process of shifting it from one fermenter to the other. By the time you get around to bottling, you shouldn't need to add any more, and you shouldn't need to add any for the other times you rack the wine, as all of the things that should be reacting have hopefully settled out and stopped doing what they're doing by then. Before any of this, you may wish to use it to remove chlorine from your water, and it's approximately one tablet for every 40 litres of water, although this can be up to every 80 litres depending on how chlorinated your water is. You take your water, you put it in a large container, and you add your tablets. If you want to avoid issues of having to agitate it and mix it, you can simply grind it into a powder and add this powder directly. Alternatively, you can add it to a small amount of water and then place it into the larger body of water you're trying to remove chlorine from. Within half an hour, you should have removed most of the chlorine or chloramine. The final application is for the sanitization of equipment. For every 4 litres of water, you're going to need 16 tablets, and so this is one of the more intensive applications of Canton tablets. You add your tablets to the water, preferably somewhat warm, wash all of the things you need with soap and water in a large container. Once you've done this, you then rinse them off and you place them inside another bucket, which you'll pour this solution into. You place everything in the bucket, pour your solution that you're going to use to sanitize into it, seal the bucket and then gently shake it to cover all of the surfaces. Or once you've had them in there for about 10 minutes and they've been thoroughly soaked and covered every available surface, you should be able to remove your equipment and anything else you have in there and it should be sterilized. The reason we say put it into a sealed container is that as mentioned, the sulfur dioxide being generated will gas off. This means if you don't seal the container, your sanitizing effect will literally disappear into thin air. One thing that does exist is some contention around the safety of using using the sodium metabisulfite or potassium metabisulfite. Both of these are safe. The only exception is going to be if you have sulfite allergies, in which case you are going to have reactions to other things anyway. The amount of sulfite you're going to generate from this in the end, and that's after you have gas off, reactions and everything else, is somewhere at most maybe 5 parts per million. This is at levels where even with sulfite allergies you're less likely to have a reaction unless you are very sensitive. If you are sensitive enough to have a reaction it shouldn't be life-threatening either. This is why Exposure to the small amounts and things like beer and wine may not trigger any kind of reaction. Nevertheless, for the home brewer, it is something to be aware of, but not necessarily worried about.
Beyond that, there aren't any significant health concerns associated with these, nor is there anything else that's contentious. Now you know how to use Canton tablets and why they are so popular, and some of the concerns that exist around its application. It's very popular because it does a lot of things as one product. It has many applications that extend the storage life of what you brew yourself and allow you to enjoy it for that much longer without needing fancy equipment. You literally just need the flat of a blade if you want to be very barbaric, or something like a mortar and pestle if you want to be a little more delicate. Even then you can get away with simply dissolving it in more water to add to whatever it is you're brewing, trying to store or wash. You get lots of benefit from something seemingly so simple. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it interesting, consider liking, sharing and subscribing. Please post any comments, questions or suggestions you have below.